Let's go over Azure regions and availability zones. So what is an Azure region? An Azure region is just a set of data centers in a specific spots around the world. So Azure has 58 regions worldwide. And each region makes up multiple availability zones. And for the most part, there's three availability zones in every region. So let's just say hypothetically, we have West US here. So let's just say that could compose of, um, you know, San, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Silicon Valley or something. So the region would be West US, but the availability zones would be Sacramento or San Francisco, Silicon Valley, and Los Angeles. I don't think that those are the actual places where they are, but that's just hypothetically. So the region is composed of availability zones. And each availability has its own data centers. So basically they have their own, each availability zone has, has its own servers, you know, in their building. So, so Sacramento has its own set of servers, or not Sacramento, San Francisco has its own set of servers. Los Angeles has its own set of servers. So if that that set of servers in San Francisco dies, you know, things can fall back to Los Angeles. But you know what what the cloud provider allows you to do is you could have your your website hosted on West US and maybe East US and even in in other parts of the world like Germany or India and things like that. So if one region goes down, you're your whole application website doesn't go down. Uh, so not everybody goes that route because it is more expensive. But you can also do, you can also scale your web application between availability zones inside of a region. So if one availability zone, so so let's say if San Francisco goes down, but but Los Angeles is still up, your web application will still be will still be working. So this is how like very big companies, web applications always stay up and never go down because they have the, their website hosted on so many different regions around the world that if one, one of those goes down, another one just picks up that traffic and it's like nothing happened. So it allows you to ensure that your, your application is not going to go down. And, and each, each availability zone has its own power, its own internet, its own cooling for the servers and everything like that. So, so they all have backup power, backup internet, and everything like that. So, so let's say if the power company is, is out working and they accidentally hit a power line and it hits that, you know, it takes San Francisco offline. You know, so San Francisco goes off offline. You know, the power company did something bad. They, 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 they made a mistake. Well, now your traffic can just get routed to, to either, you know, Los Angeles or it could go to a whole nother region somewhere else. Another, another reason to, like, you know, another good question that would come up is what region should you choose? Well, that could depend on what you're doing. Let's say, let's say I had a web application and all of my customers were in, you know, Virginia in, in the United States. So Virginia is, is right around the U.S. East, if you're not familiar with the territory. But so if, if all of your customers are going to be going to your web application in Virginia, is like in the eastern part of the United States, you're going to want to set your main region to U.S. East or U.S. East 2. So then... What happens is it has less time for them, less, less distance for, for the, the network request to travel. So if I'm sitting in Virginia here and I make a request to that web application, I only have to go to, you know, the eastern part of the United States. Whereas if I'm in Virginia and I had my website hosted over here in, in England, now when I go to view that web page, I have to go all... When I make that web request, it has to go from here all the way to there and then all the way back. 
So it has to travel a long ways to get back. So, you know, wherever you're working from or wherever your customers are going to be, you know, pick pick the region that's that's closest to closest to um, closest to them. So you have less latency. And we'll we'll go over how to how you can how you can actually fail things over to different regions and different availability zones while we're setting up our our, our databases and and web servers.